Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So we have already completed the basic uh, select questions. I mean, uh, we are already doing the, we are trying to crack the SQL interview questions. So we are, we, we want this badge, right, from lead code, right. So for that we are uh, absolving the problems, right. So we have already solved the uh, first uh, five problems and that were based on the basic select statements. So that uh, the, the, all the previous videos were pretty much solved, right, because uh, there were simple select statements. Now let's move on to the basic joins part, right? Wherein uh, I would I would assume that you you are aware about basic joins, that le that is left join, right join, uh, outer join, and uh, inner joins, right? So I hope that you are aware about the same. And if you are not aware, you can definitely ping me down. I would uh, I am making I would probably make a separate SQL learner series. So this is a practice interview series. So that's why I am not uh, d diving deep into the, each of the concepts of SQL. So now let's move on to this problem. So uh, you can also get the problems and uh, pro concepts while you solve the problems also. Okay. So we are given one tables employees. We have uh, attributes as ID and the name. Okay. We are given one more uh, table employee unique ID. Okay. So is the primary key. Each row of this table contains an ID and the corresponding unique ID of an employee in the company. Okay. So we need to write an SQL query to show show the unique ID of each user. If a user does not have a unique ID, just replace to show null. Okay. So what this statement says, okay, let me let's zoom out so bit. So yeah, this is an employee table. Let's let's look, always look at the sample uh, in SQL questions. Okay, it would be directly easy for you to um, make the judgment and find out which type of join or which type of statements we, I can use. So we are given an employee table and this is another table. Okay, so I can see that employee employee with ID 90 has an entry over here. I mean, he has a unique ID. Okay. See, employee unique table indicates that this employee, employee with ID uh, has a unique ID associated with it, okay. So, employee with ID 3 has a unique ID associated 90, okay, has an entry in this table and it has been assigned ID 3. Similarly, employee with ID 11 is also present in this table. Similarly, employee with ID 3 is, is also in this table, okay. Finally, we need to print the unique ID and the name, okay. Now, you can see that this id1 is not present anywhere in this id table okay in this table id column right similarly this id7 is not present anywhere in this okay so at that place we'll place null okay so uh, when you look at this question uh, the basic thing that comes to your mind is some something you can think of is left join right see left what what does left join means see left join means that you are taking all of the entries of this table employees table right and on the basis of the joining condition you would filter it down okay so let's let's la start writing the statement okay you will surely get it so whenever you start writing the statements in, in, in select you just play star as of now okay so this is a standard practice and this is good practice i would i would uh, later explain to you why i'm doing that okay so from which table right from which table so i am i been joining two tables right employees e i am naming it as e okay and i am doing a left join correct a left join the table name, second table name is probably employee uni. Okay. And I am naming it as EU. Okay. Employee unique ID and employee. Now, what would be the joining condition? See, I am, what I am, what I matched, right? Uh, based on the result or based on the sample input, what I matched? I tried to match this ID with the ID in the employee uni table, right? If it is matching, then I would extract the name. Otherwise, I would place it null. Okay. So, it is, I am matching is ID is equal to eu dot id right and if it is a match what i would need to pull what i need to pull see now now based on this joining condition and the table alias is you can find out that i need the unique id which is what is the unique id unique id is from this table right employee uni table so what i would do employee uni dot unique id and and what i or what else i need i need the name i need the name right I need the name which is in the employees table. So, which is in the employees table, employee dot name. So, this is our simple select statement or simple query. Okay. Now, why I use left join? See, now whenever I would try to join one, I would not find anything over here, right? So, if my joining condition fails, this eu dot unique id would return me null, and that is what I require, right? That is what I require. Now, let me try to run this. Yeah, it is getting accepted. Now let me try to submit. Yeah, it is getting accepted. 
so in case if you have any doubts with left joint right joint or uh, full joints uh, you you should take two tables and uh, just uh, try to make make uh, take pen and paper and try to resolve it okay and in case if you have any doubts comment it down regarding this problem or any other problem uh, we are making good progress we are solving problems every day right so now we will move on to the next problem in the next video okay thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to the channel for such content